Hey everyone, this is the second part of my How to Play Super Monday Night Combat video series. The first part was the actual basis of the game itself, which is, I'll link up here somewhere to show you how to get to that video if you haven't seen it already. This is about the meta aspects of the game, and there's a lot of persistent stuff that happens between games, so we're going to get right into that. This is the screen you'll see when the game starts. Or starts up, you will see uh, some news right here. This is a, right now How to Play. This shows you the latest patch changes game version and all that, uh, free pros, which I'll get into in a little bit. But first thing I want to do is I want to show the agent and leveling aspect of the game. In the previous video, you saw how your pro leveled up, got stronger and all that. Well, that's not persistent. At each game, you will start off at level 1. However, your agent level is persistent. It's your sort of your profile, your meta level, which carries from game to game. And as you win or lose games, you get experience. Wins get you more experience than losses in most cases, or every case. Right now, level 24. I see I'm um, a little bit of the ways, almost 25. And levels will unlock things like endorsements and products, and I will show that here uh, momentarily. But right now, as we look at the uh, down here, we have wins, losses, pretty self explanatory. Then there are leaves. If you actually leave a game before it finishes, you'll get a leave on your record. And that's not good. That really hurts your team, makes it very hard for them to win. And also, I'm pretty sure that if you leave a game, you cannot join new ones until that game is finished. So don't leave games. It's just not. It's poor manners. So that's the uh, tab right here. Now I'm going to hit News. And this just shows, once again, uh, all past patches. They call them rule changes. A uh, new user guy they put up here recently, which is worth checking out. So that's right there. Pretty much a repeat of this, only in more detail. And here's a locker room which deals with the pros. First thing we got is the store, which shows you how to. You can buy new pros. You can buy things for your pros that you like. And this is the all category, which shows all the pros available right now. As you notice in the corner, there's a little uh, icon showing the locked or unlocked status, so now you can play with it that week. Every week they'll release a free set of pros that you can play, because the game is going to be free to play, meaning that you don't have to pay to play the game, however, your choices are limited unless you want to spend some money on it. Now, in the case of pros, that's an exception. You can unlock them with money, or you can unlock them with, up here, if we look right here, we have Uber points, which are purchased with money, and I'll show that in a second here, how that's done. And right here is combat points, or combat coins. They are earned through gameplay. Pros can be bought with either. You can buy them with the coins, or with the Uber points. It's just a matter of whether or not you want that pro right now, or if you want to sort of wait and earn it. So a little flexibility there. And like I said, every week there is a certain number of free pros available. This week they're doing something uh, different. All pros are free, so I have everything unlocked. And they're also categorized. Uh, pros have five different classes. These are commandos. I will get into the classes themselves, what they do later. They do have explanations on their sort of role in the game, how hard they are to play. Assassins, according to Uber, is very hard to play. Their skills and so forth. Then you have strikers, enforcers, defenders, and sharpshooters. And Uber says they're going to be releasing new, uh, releasing new pros every so often. So this isn't all there is to see right now. There's going to be more and more even after the game is released. So we move the next tab here in the uh, actual pro thing. This is the you know you look at the pro, change their class colors, see what they look like. We saw the skills thing already. This is the uniforms. Uh, Basically, it's alternate skins for that pro. Right here, we have Hippie, MNC Veteran, Outland. And they'll be adding more skins for each class, for each pro, as the game goes on. Like, here's the assaults. And if you just look at the bottom. This is the cost. Uh, uniforms are only bought with Uber points, meaning they're only bought with cash. I believe sometimes they'll be releasing sort of unique skins for uh, as a promotion. For example, if you own the previous Monday Night Combat, you'll get the MNC Veteran skin, which is pretty nice looking. Further on, you get a bio, which shows you some uh, background information on the pro in the game story. or It's mostly jokes, stuff like that. But it's there for your information. Then we go to taunts. As you once again, you see the here, here, this means it's locked. We can see that at the uniform again. It's locked. That's unlocked. And these are taunts. What they say, you, you by default, you press the H button and you will taunt. So let's go ahead and look at these. are the unlocked taunts. It shows you the weapon that you have to have out to use that taunt. And you do a little animation, and you'll say something. And if you want to see it in depth, you can go over here. 
and there you go. So that's the pro section for the most part. Like I said, they'll be adding new pros, uh, new uniforms, new taunts all the time. They added a bunch of this last patch, so keep an eye out for that stuff. Next part we have is custom pros. This is where you make a custom loadout for a pro. I will explain that in a second here, but it's better to explain endorsements and products first. Endorsements are a way to customize your pro to fit your play style. As you see here, we have critical shot chance. And if you click on it, you'll get a you'll see this little boost here. Not a lot, but it adds up over time. You have right here is the slots where you put in your um, endorsements. You have I think about 25, yeah, 25. And you create a set of them. If I go to set one, as you see, these are all empty ones. As you level up, you unlock new slots, meaning you can get more endorsements. So I have one here. I just put some generic health ones in there. By default, they are speed endorsements. So if you don't have them, don't worry about it. You still will have some kind of endorsement there. It just it'll always be a speed, a plus moving speed endorsement. If we look in here, let's look at health. There are different ranks down here. If you look at it, you can only buy endorsements with combat coins. So there's not a there's not a real pay to win aspect to the game. You cannot spend money to buy uh, your endorsements faster. As you see, as we go higher up, you will see that the the benefit is greater. Plus four health per endorsement. Plus eight. Plus eight, and you get other secondary benefits. And there's also penalties. In this case, it's minus speed. So you sort of want to mix and match to get the uh, sort of best benefit that you want. And there's a variety of these. You really just pick them based on your preference, how you like to play, and if you're pro. And like I said, you can, if I go here, I can, and if I had more, let's go ahead and buy a skill recovery. This is the cooldown, so I'm going to buy this just to show you how it works. Shows you what you'll have left over afterwards. Unlock it. It's unlocked. Then I can drag it right here. If one, I can rename it. We'll just say it is... I can actually get the okay, highlight. All right, we'll just put this as skill recovery. Okay, and save it. And now, whenever I want to have a, if I have a, you know, want a skill recovery endorsement uh, set, I can just pull it up. And if I want to, or I can go back to tanky and have more health endorsements. And as you level, up, as you level up, you will gain more and more of these. And that's endorsements for the most part. There's a way to give you an edge in the game. And the next part is products. Products are similar to endorsements, only they're much a much more pronounced effect. You can have three at a time. By default, you will have. Let's see here. By default, you have unlocked over armor, snappy comeback, atom bomb, as well as parting gift. As you see, there's a large number of products available, and there's a max of three at a time. And like endorsements, you can make new ones, unlock a new one. I can just put these as I like, once I've unlocked, and I'm also heavy, there we go. Save it, just now my product's at 2, or I'll go back to the default one, rename it, you know, call it generic set number 1, and there you go, new sets. So. Just looking through here, examples, there are a lot more. Like I said, you have like hot hands, if you're grappled, or you grapple someone, they you do damage you do damage to them. Uh, ones that increase your potential and juiced. Uh, better accuracy. So stuff that happens when you spawn. So these are a lot more expensive than uh, endorsements. And they also have a level requirement, like this one requires level five plus. This one requires no level. So look through them, see what you want, but uh, just keep in mind they are a bit more they are quite a bit more expensive than endorsements. So you might want to play with your pro a little bit, see what you like before you actually uh, dedicate money into that. Or in this case, like endorsements, they're combat coins only, no uber points. So again, no money for in-game benefits. And that is a locker room. Um, we'll now go to the custom pro part of it. Custom pro basically allows you to set up a a pro and have the automatic loadout of endorsements and products so you don't have to go and find them every game. So let's say I'm playing support and 
I don't have any uniforms unlocked, but if you want to have a UFC, you bought a uniform, you can put that down there. You can select products. Let's say that I don't want to get grabbed a lot by commandos, so I'm going to go to this one with hot hands. So if a commando kills me or grapples me, I can maybe kill him with hot hands. And any taunts you unlock, you can select those. I have no taunts unlocked, so I have defaults. Then you have endorsements. Let's go to my tanky one because I want to live a lot longer as a, as a support. And then you can rename it. We'll say um, this is defensive. You save it, and then when you get into a game, we get into a game real quick here. Practice game. Loads up real quick. I'll explain the lobby for starting games soon here. With this load. There we go. And if I select the support, I can go to custom class, defensive, and then as you see, I have automatically selected the tanky and the. Oops, didn't put the product set on there. But it would have it picked my product select one, so hot hands. Yeah, there you go. It selected that one automatically. Okay, pick the right one. So it'll basically if you don't if you don't have a custom class, it'll go with standard product set and it'll go with the standard endorsements automatically. So custom classes are basically a way to quickly pick a loadout that you want. So it's very very convenient for that. So let's go ahead and get out of here. Okay, I'm back now to the uh, custom classes again. Just one more thing I wanted to uh, touch on is that you have a thing to make default. If you click that, whenever you pick that class, it'll automatically use that custom class without even to choose it. So if it's something you use a lot, like in this case I have Spark, I have a that I use frequently, so I have that as a default, so I don't have to pick it every single time. And that is it for the locker room. Let's go ahead and go to... This is the play part where you actually start playing the game if you want to start a match. You have three options here, quick match, build team, and practice game. Practice game is where you basically you can invite up to ten players, or nine players and yourself, and you just hit invite. It will bring up your Steam friends, and you can then pick you one to invite. And when you're ready, you just hit start game, and it will start the game up. By playing practice games, though, you do not get a lot of experience or combat coins, so you don't, you know, exploit the system. Just keep that in mind. Close that out. Go to play. Leave game. Go back to play. And then you have build team. This is where you build, take four other players and you will play as a pre made team. So if you want to play with friends, that's a way to do it. After a certain point, it will start matching you up against other pre made teams. I think around three or four players. It'll just start looking for other pre made, so keep that in mind. And they did add a patch where you can now do a pre made game with two players, so that's nice. Right here we have the region. As you see, Europe and US East have the most players, so you really, unless you want to play against specific people in the game, go to US West. Otherwise, stick with these two regions. That's best for you. Quick match, if you click on that, you'll basically go to, you'll be um, queued by yourself for a game. It'll find nine other players and it'll put you in a match that way. That's the main way to play if you're by yourself. And both quick match and build team will give you the same amount of combat points or combat coins and experience. It's the only practice game that has a penalty for that. And that's how you uh, get into a game. Let's go ahead and go up to stats not available right now. I'm assuming that'll be your uh, wins, losses, highest damage, best streaks, and all that. But since it's beta right now, it is probably not going to be up. Hmm. This is community right now. It allows you to watch replays of games that have gone on. Shows you who was in the game. And you can download them and watch. I'm not gonna watch one at this point, but if you want to do that, you can watch. It's a good it's a good way to actually uh, learn how to play by watching other players. See what they're doing if you're not still still only trying to play. And this is the help section where it shows you the general play guide. Like I said, this is actually a pretty pretty good guide if you need um, need more help learning how to play. Or if the things you're still not sure about, you can give it this a read. And the last thing on our list here is the options, which pretty basic stuff. All your hotkeys, um, gamepad support, 
And then the two options up here are the Uber points that shows you how to buy them. It looks like as you, the more points you buy at once, the better the price is. Like 400 for five dollars, you get 10 free points if you buy if you put in 10, and you get more and more as you put in money. And right now it is, even though it is beta, they are allowing you to spend money on the game. So if you want to support them right now, uh, go ahead. Just you know, like I said, put it here. It'll put you up through a Steam wallet transaction. But we're going to cancel that. Then we're going to add boosts. And these are uh, combat coin boosts, which allow you to increase the rate at which you gain combat coins. It goes by days or by wins. So if you plan on playing all day long, you might want to buy the day ones. If you don't, if you're not sure, if you have enough time, you can go by wins, which will not wear off until you actually win that many games. And that's a way to get coins faster if you just feel like you need a little bit more to buy that pro or that uh, product you want. And that is the entire, yeah, that's the pretty much the entire uh, thing for the game. You have the chat down here, your friends on Steam will show you, as well as people in the current chat channel. And you hit the down arrow right here, and that will sort of minimize it. And that is the Monday Night Combat uh, lobby, sort of the persistent elements of the game. And in the next video, I'll probably give him some general tips on how to play, what to look out for, and so forth. But thanks for watching. If you have any corrections, I appreciate them. I'm trying to add annotations on the screen to correct mistakes I've made. Like I said, the game's still in beta, so there's a lot of things even I don't don't know about. I've been trying to avoid that, but things fall through the cracks, so any help is appreciated. And thanks for watching.